this is Jackson and we're here to do our labor and delivery story. Uh, I did get my footage up already of the labor and delivery but I, a lot of people have been asking me like why I had to have a c-section and everything so I'm just going to go through step by step everything that happened at my delivery. Um, I'm going to try and make it short because a lot of stuff happened so I'm just going to start talking. Okay, so I actually started going into labor, like feeling really bad contractions, Thursday the 20, 24th, and I had a doctor's appointment and she's like, well, there's no dilation or anything, and I'm like, well, I'm in like a lot of pain, like having contractions, like it's very painful, so she set an induction date for that coming up Monday, so like, um, it would have been, I would have been having the baby anyway, but, uh, so Friday I was still having really bad contractions, and then Saturday they were so bad that I just could not even, um, like, function. So we went into the hospital Saturday, well, if it was Friday morning, so, sa well, Saturday morning, Friday night, uh, I was just, like, I could not stop, like, m like, belting out every time like I had a contraction it was so painful uh, and it, my doctor was on call so she said just go ahead and because I was only dilated two centimeters and they won't admit you unless you're like changing like uh, dilating so she said go ahead and admit her she's been in pain since Thursday blah blah get her an epidural and we'll just do it today so I was so thankful and I was like, oh, thank God, like, I could cry, I, I think I did cry, I was crying the whole time, um, and I was so happy, so we went in and, um, my mom and sister were here, so that was good, and they came, and, um, I went up to labor and delivery and I got a walking epidural so that I could walk around and see if I could get myself dilating and stuff, um, which I did start dilating pretty quickly. Um, I went to three centimeters once I got up there, and then an hour later it was four centimeters, an hour later it was six centimeters. I was like progressing very well. Um, my water broke when I was at six centimeters, and that's when I decided to get the uh, full epidural because the contraction started coming really, really like intense and painful. Um, so I got the the normal epidural where I couldn't get out of bed and had a catheter and everything and um, I was feeling a lot better. But um, every time I got I got to six or nine centimeters I got to nine centimeters before they told me I had to be taken for an emergency C-section. Um, he was he was not breathing through the contractions so his heart rate would go down after every contraction um basically what she said was the placenta wasn't didn't have enough blood flow to give to him anymore <laughs> he's so cute <laughs> um so it was just he wasn't getting enough oxygen and i stopped dilating at nine we waited two hours i was still nine so She's like, we just have to, uh, we have to go do emergency, emergency C-section. So, they took us in to get the C-section, and I was just like a mess, and Quarrel was like a mess. And we were just so happy, though, that we were going to get to meet our boy, and he came out, and he had the biggest cone head because of like him trying to get out of me so he had the biggest cone head and he peed on all the nurses like right when he came out um so I can't believe I got to nine centimeters and then I had to go in for a emergency c-section which I was really upset about but we got over it I guess um just because he was healthy and happy. So 
So after that, uh, I went into the recovery room and he had to be taken to the nursery because I was running a fever and so they were going to see if he was running a fever and check his everything. So they checked me and I, I was fine. I didn't like they took my blood and checked for like all this stuff. I don't know. And I didn't have anything, so they sent me up, but his oxygen uh, rate was low, so they kept him in the nursery all night, which was really hard because I could not see him because I was still on my epidural and I couldn't get up out of bed to go to the nursery, and I just was like a wreck. <laughs> so they kept him in the nursery overnight. Um, and then he did have a little bit of jaundice, so they had him with a light um, in our room. So luckily he got to stay with us in our room with like this little portable light with like a little glow worm. Um, yeah. So, um, so after that he was fine and in our room and uh, we had visitors come and see us. Uh, a lot of people came out, so we were glad to see everyone and happy that he was here. It's all like kind of daisy because I was so like, I was on so many drugs and I didn't want to take the drugs at first because I wanted to be able to like be there and like not be groggy, but I was in so much pain so I had to take it because of my C-section. Um, he's smiling. Anyway, so that's basically everything that happened. Um, we got to leave two day within two days, so I was recovering well and he recovered well, and we were just really excited to get home and get him in his room and everything. So he is a healthy. He was um, six pounds eleven ounces but they rounded up to 12, so 6 pounds 12 ounces, um, weighed, uh, weighed 6 pounds 12 ounces, he was 20 inches long, and he was born at 4.31 p.m. on September 26th, so I just wanted to make this real fast and quick and not too long. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I'm also going to be doing postpartum videos, um, so once I'm one month postpartum, I will go through my weight loss, uh, show you belly shot, um, everything like that, and then I'll have a one month update for him. Um, he's just knocked out. So right now he is two weeks old, two weeks and a of two days old and he will be I can't believe it he'll be one month soon it's insane he's gained he went to the pediatrician and he gained um, back his birth weight because he did drop to six pounds five or six pounds five ounces when we left the hospital and then he was um, six pounds 15 ounces when we went to the pediatrician but she said everything looked great and he was perfect. So, yep. That is our labor and delivery story. And I will talk to you guys later. Stay tuned for more videos and I'll be rude. If you want to see any videos, um, leave requests in the comments below and I will try to do them all. Um, I'm just at home with him all day, so we can do it. Uh, okay, so thanks for watching, and if you have any other questions about my labor and delivery, just ask me below. If I miss anything, I can't even think straight right now, so I hope I didn't miss anything, but um, the main part is we came out healthy and happy, and it's okay that we got a C-section, even though we did not want one at all, but stuff happens. 
Okay, I'll talk to you later if you haven't already. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll see you. Bye!